I threw on a sewing make and headed out shopping. So I am going shopping, but I'm not going shopping for anything fabric or sewing related this time. I am actually going to a home goods store. There's a little small area in my living room that needs a little help. It just looks like it's missing something. So I'm just gonna browse around the store and see if I can find anything. I'm going to a store called At Home. I actually am wearing this sewing make, which is a vintage dress that I made last year. So if I ever make a garment and I'm not planning to wear it right away, I will hang it up, I will put the name of the pattern on a piece of paper, and if I remember, I will put the date that I made the garment, and then I will pin the paper to the garment. So as I was getting dressed this morning, I was like, oh, I'm gonna wear this dress. I've never worn it before, and I pulled off the piece of paper, and it said that I made it in March of 2020. So yes, that was over a year ago, and I've never worn it. But it was kind of nice to pull the dress off the hanger because it was almost like a brand new garment. I mean, I made it a year ago, so it's old in that sense, but it was new because I've never worn it. And so I guess I had forgotten all the details because as I was putting the dress on, I was like, oh, this is really soft. And then after I put the neckline, looked at the neckline in the mirror, I was like, oh, I like how wide the neckline is. And then I looked to the sides and I was like, oh, I didn't match the stripes. <laughs> so that's okay. Sometimes I just don't feel like matching the stripes. And I guess that's what happened in this case because I did not match the stripes at all. So anyway, it was kind of fun to like pull this dress out and kind of, you know, have a new garment to examine and explore. It was almost like going shopping in my own closet. So that was kind of fun. So I will share with you all the details about this pattern once I get back home. I have all my notes in a notebook and I will show you what the garment looks like on fully from head to toe. And yeah, I'll give you all the details at that time. Okay, so I just made it to at home and there is a Hobby Lobby next door. I've been to this at home before, but I guess I forgot that Hobby Lobby is next door. <sighs> I love Hobby Lobby. So what I'm doing now is I'm opening up my Hobby Lobby app because I want to see if they have any patterns on sale. So I'm going to the weekly ad and let me see. Because if they have patterns on sale, I may go in there. If they don't, I may go in there. <laughs> I still might go in there, I'm thinking. Let's see. So, nope, no patterns on sale. They have sewing notions on sale though. I think I'm going, but I'll go to at home first because I have to stay on track. Okay, I'm back out fresh on the scene Franchise best on the team Blue faces busting out the scene New life is something like a dream Back out fresh on the scene Franchise best on the team Blue faces busting out the scene New life is something like a dream New life is something like a dream New life is something like a Like if you are in the market for some type of picture for your wall, my gosh, they have all kinds here. Big ones, little ones. Let me show you this aisle over here. All the way down, just pictures and pictures and pictures. All right, I'm gonna keep looking. I decided to get that big, tree <laughs> this green thing right here is for me i think this will be really cute behind my my chair i'm 
not seeing anything new since the last time I was here. So I think this is gonna be a quick trip for me. I don't think I'm gonna get anything, but I couldn't help myself and I at least had to stop by. So this is how I'm riding home. Plant is riding shotgun. I am on my way home and I didn't get anything from Hobby Lobby. That feels so good. So, so good. just came back from doing a little bit of grocery shopping and the traffic was really bad they were doing some construction on the road so they had the traffic backed up but I'm home safely so I pulled out my notebook where I wrote down all the things about the sewing make the vintage dress that I was wearing the other day so I can tell you all the details about that dress so it is McCall 6488 I made you a which is the long dress so my notes say that I decided not to use neck facing pieces and I just sewed a narrow hem around the neck edge the hem was a, about three inches too long the dress is already long and I don't remember taking three inches off but apparently I did Sleeves were too long at him. Take one inch off pattern piece next time. Okay, so I will say heed if I ever make this again. I also wrote that this is a pattern from 1979. There is a dart in the sleeve. I didn't remember that. I took three and a quarter off the hem. So I think what I did is I took off two inches from the pattern hem. And then even after I sewed the garment up, I ended up taking off over three inches more off the bottom of the hem. I traced the front and back pieces to create two big front and back pieces to eliminate the front and back seam. I don't remember doing any of this stuff. So thank goodness for my notes. So yes, those are the details in the dress. And if you can find the pattern, I definitely would recommend it. All right, so before I go, let me leave you with a love share. Black stripes on yellow school buses are positioned at specific spots. The lowest stripe is installed at floor level. The middle one corresponds to the bottom of the seats and the top one usually matches the height of the top of the seats and or the bottom of the window. Now this strategic placement could prove useful after a bad crash if the school bus doors and windows can't be reached or opened. Rescue teams would have a better idea of where to cut into the sides of the bus and they'd also be able to tell where the impact occurred. Come on now. That is so good.